Hello, what is up guys? Young Bunny's here. Um, we are on the Block Knot server, as always. Um, and, you know, I'm excited. I'm getting this episode out. It's been, well, I guess a couple weeks, but, uh, you know, it's much shorter than a couple months like it was before. And, um, you know, there wasn't really anything I could do about that. We, uh, the team I'm working for, we had a, we had a 10 game road trip where I was gone and, um, can't really record when I'm on the road. Uh, I took my, did take my laptop, so I did get some work done. But you know, like I say, I want to do most of this project with you guys that we started last time. I'm about to show you what I've done, um, and it was hard because I wanted to do, I wanted to do so much. There's so much with this that I want to do, um, but I wanted to keep it to where the stuff that I that I was doing wasn't, uh, you know, something that you guys are gonna miss out. So. Without further ado, here we go. I uh, replaced the uh, framework with that orange clay that I had, um, and I put in the uh, the floor patterns as you can see here. Um, if we go down here, um, we actually I also put in. I know you guys you guys didn't want me to terraform yet, so I didn't. I did just put up this kind of dirt framework around here because um, that's a little oops. Because that's a little helpful, um, just in terms of building all of this. And I put up some pillars. I wanted to to sort of start shaping this. Um, I'm going with a little bit of a different roof design than what I had drawn up in that blueprint. Um, if you remember, I had sort of the more traditional pointy roof. But you know what? I got so many of these um, going on. You know, it's going to be the same style with the cobble and the the nether brick, I'm sure. But kind of wanted to have, uh, so it's going to be sloped on all sides and then flat on the top. Um, I don't know. We'll see. That's, you know, everything in here is subject to change until, you know, it gets to a point where I like it. Um, and so what we're going to, oh, well, yeah, right. I got to come over here too, don't I? Um, I didn't really consider this terraforming. This is more sort of the foundation of this. Um, you know, it's kind of like the tree farm over there if you remember there with the uh the wall with the supports going up and uh you know i think this is a nice a nice foundation a nice strong looking base for building a you know what's going to end up being a pretty pretty good sized building on top of this so um we're going to hop over here i'm going to start getting the walls up on camera and then probably Probably cut, maybe we'll see. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not good at doing this stuff uh while recording. But I started laying some stuff out. I think I'm gonna change this actually again. Um I was just trying to get a feel. I really haven't done anything else in creative. I'm you know, I'm trying to do all this whole design process uh here with you guys, which I think is cool. But um oh so I did I lose a... Whatever, if I lost clay down there, no worries. So as you can probably see, we're going to be making the walls for this main... The biggest part of this building out of the regular hardened clay. Um, and then I'm going to mix in some bricks just to try to kind of keep it uh, keep it mixed up a little bit. The, uh, in terms of texture and all that. Now, let's see. How did I... I think... I think we're going to want right here. I think that's where we're going to have the, the window be. I don't know. It's hard because you want to try to find a size where I want this window to be big. I think that's good. I think that would be good because I do want some wall here. You know, I don't want this whole thing to just be an open uh, space. So I think this will work. And so now we're just gonna we're just gonna kind of fill us in, and hopefully I can talk to you guys while we do this. Um, but yeah, so like I said, you know we were on the road for for ten games, which is <laughs> it's a long time. It's a lot of time being in a hotel, and um, you know it's fun. On one hand, you get to do some traveling, get to get to see some new places, and that's you know I do those are things that I like doing. But on the other hand that's a long time it's a pretty long time to be gone so uh you know it's good to be home um and all that and <laughs> oh man the worst part of all this was the uh 
the day we were leaving, so our last our last game there, and this always seems to happen, man. Every time we're gonna we're gonna leave after the game, we pack up you know pack up the bus before before the game. So once we get done, all the players shower, we load everything up and and hit the road. Um, and we were in. I think that looks. I think it looks all right. What do you guys think? Um, just gonna continue adding some size to that, I guess. Um, but so anyway, we were. Uh, that didn't really work. All right. We'll just do the other side. Since I couldn't get up there, <laughs> gonna do it. Gonna have to do it eventually anyway. Um, so we were about. It ended up being about five and a half hours away from Montgomery. Um, and I swear every single time we have one of these getaway days, it's what, that's what it's called when you're, it's the last game of the series. Um, and you're getting away basically. So, and without fail, we'll have just like a, a ridiculously long game to make it so we don't get home <laughs> anytime soon. And sure enough, like clockwork, uh, we ended up having a 16 inning baseball game baseball games for those of you who are from Europe or whatever usually last nine innings uh, and a nine inning baseball game will probably be around three hours between two and a half and three hours is is average um, which means if we start at seven o'clock the game will be over around 10 uh, you know we'll be on the road by probably 11 11 30 right that sounds pretty reasonable well getaway day let's go ahead and have a 16 inning game lasted five hours um so if we normally would have been on the road by what i say 11 30 now all of a sudden we're on the road by 1 30 and didn't get in until uh six i mean, i didn't get home until 6 30 to my apartment and that just really that's no that's no bueno man that kind of ruins it has it has lasting effects something like that you don't really recover from that just from one day of sleep um you're out for a while <laughs> uh but you know i guess that's part of the part of the territory so can't really complain too much um but yeah so i'm going to put a, put a little more here let's go take a look the one thing I wasn't sure with this design is, are these walls too, like, from the inside, the wall, the window looks the right size, but from the outside, these walls are bigger, so I'm not really sure, but I'm thinking, oh, that's, I'm going to have to fix these patterns a little bit, too, that's a little too, but anyway, um, but I think once we put some trim around the edges, I think that'll look pretty good, um, so I'm going to do some more of this off camera and come back to you when I got something to show you um, and hopefully work on designing the edges, you know, like most, most of these buildings I've been making have, you know, you've got the, you've got the base wall and then there's some sort of edge to give it some depth. And so I'll finish off these walls and come back and we can work on, work on some detailing and depth and whatnot. Um, going to leave the roof for not probably anytime soon that's going to be kind of kind of later down the road um and yeah you can see i'm i'm just going with the clay in the corners because i think that's going to be covered up with stone bricks or whatever i use for the for the trim and i'd rather use stone clay for that or hardened clay for that than these bricks which are super annoying to get anyway uh, <laughs> i will be back with you guys in a little bit and we're back so i finished out these i didn't do any of the other sides because i ran out of uh ran out of this stuff i might have some more in storage my storage room in there i'm not sure but either way um this took a little longer than i expected i don't know so i want to get this moving um because tomorrow morning we are going i'm going out out of town again so <laughs> kind of got to get this done um or else it's gonna just never get done you know and if i get this done then i can uh hopefully work on these other sides off camera and be ready be ready to go with something else uh in about a week or so when i get when i get back in town so 
Um, we're gonna hop up. We're gonna do. I'm gonna start doing some of the detailing on this side column. I don't know. Whatever. Um, because it's gonna be a little bit easier than in the middle. I think the middle ones. I think I am really gonna do off camera. Um, oh well. And here's here's how it is on the inside. I think I think this is pretty much gonna be how it is on the inside. I don't want to do too much detail work here because there's not as much room for it and I don't think it really needs it on the inside as much um, so I think this this parts pretty much pretty much done but I, I like the way it looks I think the colors work out well I think they go fairly well with the floor uh, design we have and the wood and everything else and I really like the way this material here contrasts with the stone as well too um, inside and outside but uh, so anyway we're gonna hop up here and now I'm not a hundred percent sure how exactly I want to do this do I want to I'm not sure if I want to have this detailing go um, three wide here like do I want to have details going all the way over here I just think that when we have the details on this side going out to that block now I've only got two blocks worth of the actual wall um, and I'm fairly confident I do want it going out here on this side. So I think I'm, I think we're just going to stick with just one little section here of uh, actually, you know what? Let's go make some. I want to make some of these some of these blocks. I think these can look really good when they're sort of scattered uh, scattered throughout. So let's get a. Uh, Let's get some of these done. And it's just like this, right? Like so, yeah, nice. Okay, that should be enough for now. Um, man, my frames are, are hurting. I really, really want this new update to come out because then uh, I think we've decided once, once uh, 1.8 comes out, we're gonna stay away from the snapshots for a little while, which, I do not hate that. I do not hate that idea at all. Um, let's see. So I don't really know exactly. I don't really have a, a plan for what I'm doing right here. I'm just kind of trying to get some some variation going. Uh, let me throw in one of these again. Let's see. and give it a little more detail this is the kind of thing where I think it's very easy to go overboard with it and I think when it's overdone this sort of a style does not work very well uh, so that's something to be careful with that's something I'm gonna try to watch out for but I mean I do want to have something I don't want to just have Let's see these are hard to put upside down <laughs> I, I don't want to just have straight columns. I want there to be, I do want there to be something else here. Let's see, and I got it like this, right? Um, come on. No, what? I had it and I just decided, nope, we're gonna flip. Um, I have not done this in creative. I don't know what it's gonna look like probably terrible if that's the case then whatever just gonna have to deal with it but I think it'll look okay Let's see do I have any ender pearls yes I do so actually let's run sleep real quick and then get some suspense going <laughs> and uh, you know talk to you guys so what do you want to see next out of this so if we if I if we can assume by the time the next episode goes up, I'll have the, the walls of the, this main building finished. Um, I always go in this building, and it's not right. Um, <laughs> there, so there's so that, that leaves us with a lot of different possibilities for, for where we can go and what we can work on next. Um, I've actually, the one thing I have been doing in creative is kind of working on some stuff to go inside, but I kind of want to hold that off a little longer. I don't know. 
I think uh, I don't. We'll see. So I mean, that that would be one possibility. Start working out the inside, or start working on these. The uh, the observatory part here. I want to hold this off for a while because I want to use some of the uh, the new blocks from that uh, from those underground underwater whatever underwater temples because um, th they have some really cool new block types and we haven't upgraded to that snapshot yet I don't think we're going to I think we're gonna wait for 1.8 so I'm that's probably gonna be one of the last things we do and that looks pretty stupid uh, <laughs> I don't know I'll I'll put this up see what you guys think I will almost certainly be changing this I just think it looks there's no structure there it just looks like it's crappy um, I think these ones something like this can work a little better because I'll have there'll be two pillars and then this stuff in the middle so then it w works a little better but I don't like it on the end um, so this is probably gonna all be reworked I just wanted to wanted to throw it out there um, so yeah I will be back when I've got some more work done on the rest of these so we're back and none of these chunks are loading this is ridiculous I can't wait to get on a stable final version um, but so if we can come over here and if anything will load up um, I did did some changes finished up a little bit good lord this is absurd um, come on load in yeah floating enderman uh yeah okay so here it is from the inside um i tried a more like detailed design but it just don't i don't think it worked it's just way too busy and um like if you try to try to mix too much stuff up i don't know so i just went with went with something like this changed up these sides as well and you know it's not great but I think I'm gonna stick with it for now. I think it's simple. It has, uh, you know, has a nice effect. It, you know, all this stuff. It's hard to say until we can look at the finished building to really see what it's gonna look like. But like, especially with the roof on there. But for now, this is gonna do it. Um, also, this episode I think is probably getting kind of long. So on that note, I'm gonna end it here. Um, and I want to get some feedback from you guys on this. Um, you're usually pretty good about that. And I think that's, that's pretty helpful when I can hear, you know, get some input from, from another set of eyes and whatnot. Um, and so, yeah, let me know what you think about this. What I'll m probably mirror this over here and finish up the walls for this main building. Um, and then let me know what let me know what direction you think we should go from here. Whether we should, you know, work on doing some interior type stuff. Like I'm kind of thinking maybe we should get at least some staircases worked out and everything like that before we start worrying about the walls for these parts and whatnot. But let me know. Um, this is this is so dumb. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let me know, and hopefully I can do some do some good work off camera and get us in a good place where, uh, you know, and hopefully like a week or so, can make some more progress on video for you guys and uh, and with you guys. But yeah, Young Bunny's out. <laughs>